Little roller up along first. Behind the bag. It gets through Buckner. Here comes Knight, and the Mets win it. Hi again, it's Corey with DNC Ball Cards, back again with another Junk Wax Era video. Uh, today we're going to be busting into a box of 1989 score. Uh, this is a 660 card set, uh, the second year of score. Uh, and like the 88 score set, these cards feature six distinctive inner border colors on the front and are divided into 110 card color groups. Um, this uh, set does not include the Griffey Jr. It's one of the few 89 sets that didn't, um, along with Topps. Um, he was in the uh, the score rookie traded set, however, uh, so there is an 89 score Griffey, uh, but it's just not part of the, the regular base set. Um, notable rookies included in this set include uh, Brady Anderson, Rob Dibble, Sandy Alomar Jr., Tom Gordon, Ramon Martinez, uh, Craig Biggio, Randy Johnson, Gary Sheffield, and John Schmoltz. Um, obviously, Biggio, Johnson, and Schmoltz being Hall of Famers. Um, and um, I've already actually busted into um, several, several packs. I think we've got about 12 packs left. I'm going to try to keep uh, my videos moving forward a little more uh, digestible, a little shorter so that they can be uh, consumed in a, in a sitting. Um, so the box here is empty. I've already um, um, pulled the cards out, but you can see this box is actually very well kept. I got this on eBay. Um, I think I got it along with um, three or four other boxes uh, at an average cost of about 12 or 13 bucks, uh, if I remember correctly. And um, the cards that I've already, or the packs that I've already busted open, um, here are some of the, the key cards I've hit. Um, Barry Larkin, uh, Don Mattingly, uh, Roberto Alomar. Uh, this is a cool... Uh, like a World's 88 World Series card that's got uh, uh, Kirk Gibson, Dave Stewart, Oral Hershiser, and then Jose Canseco. Uh, so obviously uh, that was the year with the, the Gibson home run in game one. Um, Harold Baines, uh, there is a Randy Johnson rookie. Uh, Tom Glavin, Goose Gossage, uh, Bo Jackson card, Tony Gwynn, Alan Trammell, John Smoltz. There's a Craig Biggio rookie, Tim Raines, Wade Boggs, Ryan Sandberg, Dave Winfield, Gary Carter, Kirby Puckett, Eddie Murray, Robin Yount, Dennis Eckersley, Mark McGuire, and Barry Bonds. Uh, so we've already got the, uh, the Biggio rookie, the Randy Johnson rookie, and the... The other one more rookie, I can't remember uh, who that was, Smoltz. So we've already got the three Hall of Fame rookies. Um, so, you know, there's still several uh, cards that we haven't gotten. Just some some typical Hall of Famers, Nolan Ryan, Cal Ripken, Andre Dawson. So there's still a lot of good cards here that we could, we could get in these last uh, 12 packs. Uh, so we'll just kind of bust open uh, these packs here. And as you can see, these aren't wax, wax packs uh, in the sense that they're not actually wax. Uh, score actually uh, was kind of um, one of the, the, the four fathers, if you will, of um, the, uh, the packs that were uh, kind of anti-theft or anti-sorting uh, uh, so uh, to protect the consumer. Uh, so Kevin Mitchell, Doyle Alexander... Fred Lynn, Terry Kennedy, Devin White, Rick Roden, Mackie Sasser, Dwayne Ward, Ray Canonez, Rafael Belliard, Mark Davis, Mike Flanagan, Rex Huddler, Mario Soto, Mark Williamson, and John Davis. So that was a big goose egg, and you know, quite honestly, Several, several of these packs have actually been like that. I mean, more so than almost probably any product I've opened, uh, to, to be honest. Um, I mean, obviously, I've gotten some, some nice cards there with some Hall of Fame rookies, but there have been probably 
five or six packs that just had not a single Hall of Famer um, during this era that was rich <laughs> with Hall of Famers. And um, I don't think I mentioned, but um, obviously <coughs> gum isn't included in these score packs, but they have these little uh, lenticular um, um, trivia type cards and talks about Bob Feller uh, in the 1940 season here. So it's kind of cool for for people that like to read a little bit about the history of baseball. Sid Breen, Butch Weinegar, Ray Knight, Andy McGaffigan, Ken Phelps, there's Dennis Oil Ken Boyd, Don Carmen, Dave LaPointe, Rick Cerrone, Bud Black, Gino Petrali, Ray Hayward, Ken Gerhardt, Bob McClure, Mario Soto, and Mark Williams. And so again, it's the second consecutive dud pack. And, you know, quite honestly, this is a pretty uh, a junk wax era. This is pretty junky <coughs> as far as cards go. 88 Donruss was, was very similar in the sense that it just wasn't very, very fun to open. And, um, you know, quite frankly, these are these are very similar, you know, uh, other than getting those Hall of Fame rookie cards. Uh, there's not been a ton of enjoyment, but, you know, it's still still a little bit of a trip down memory lane. So hopefully we'll end this, this streak here. Uh, Gary Reedus, Robbie Thompson, Ron Darling, Neil Heaton, Joe Orsalak, Bob Boone. Uh, there's a Hall of Famer, Bruce Sutter, Don Robinson, Mickey Hatcher, Lloyd McClendon, Stan Jefferson, Charlie Leah, Renee Gonzalez, Danny Darwin, and Terry Pohl. <coughs> so, still not a great pack there. Um, when I opened 88 score, I was actually really impressed with that. Uh, that product of that year. Um, I really like the photography. Um, I like the design of the cards. Um, they just really kind of stood out from the rest of the 88 uh, cards. Um, this, this pack actually is missing one of the lenticular uh, inserts. I had another pack earlier that uh, was missing one as well. So, But these, the photography in this set, it's okay. It's a little dulled. Not quite as vibrant as the 88, in my opinion. Uh, there's Ricky Henderson, so that's our Hall of Famer. There's a superstar, Jose Canseco. Not a Hall of Famer, but a great card to have. And so finally, the the dry spell is coming to an end. There's another really cool card that I haven't gotten yet, Greg Maddox. So that's three in a row. Claudel Washington, Bill Buckner, Bruce Ruffin, Dave Magadan. Bob Welch, Tim Belcher, Stan Jefferson, Charlie Leah, Leah, Daryl Miller, Tracy Woodson, Jim Eisenreich, and Charlie O'Brien. <coughs> so that was a solid pack. Obviously, if they had Griffey in this set, that could have change the outlook of this particular set, uh, give you a little more of a, a chase card, um, but they just didn't have the foresight to include Griffey. Albert Hall, Jeff Treadway, and there's an Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer. And there's Dwayne Bice, who was um, instrumental in uh, forming Upper Deck. Um, if you don't know the story behind that, I've, I've told that story in a previous video. Um, you can just Google Dwayne Bice and Upper Deck and, um, and read about that. It's pretty fascinating. Uh, Jim Gantner, Greg Brock, Sean Abner, Tim Leary, Terry Leach, Zane Smith, Sean Hilligus, Joaquin Andujar, there's a 88 highlight. I bet that is the 4040 
uh, special uh, commemorative card there. And that's exactly what that is. So that's a cool card to get. <coughs> Ricky Henderson, another highlight. Uh, I bet this is about leadoff home runs. Um, I'm not going to read that, but I think that's what that is. I know Ricky has the, the record for most career leadoff home runs. And the combination of pop and speed wasn't necessarily a prolific home run hitter by any means, but he, he could definitely hit for power when needed. All right. Johnny Ray, Gary Pettis, Glenn Hubbard, DJ Serhoff, Willie Frazier, Mark Eichhorn, Dale Svim, Les Straker, Pete Stanichek, Todd Benzinger, Stuart Clyburn, Ricky Jordan, Al Nipper, Greg Jeffries, who have been a hot card back in the day, Danny Jackson, and Jeff Hamilton. <coughs> so, uh, <clears throat> another dud of a pack, and that's you know, that's the truth. Like I said, very rarely in packs from this era do you just come up totally dry. And that's obviously the, th the third or fourth pack uh, that we've seen here on camera. So um, I'm not sure why that is, but Dave Martinez, Darnell Coles, Gerald Young, Pete Incaviglia, Tommy Hare, her, Kelly Gruber, Jack Howell, Larry McWilliams, Mike Stanley, Tim Belcher, Daryl Boston, Jim Deshays, John Costello, Felix Jose, Derek Lilliquist, and Tim Jones. So yet another dud of a pack. So, nothing you can do about it. Hopefully this one will make up for it. Still haven't seen a Nolan Ryan or a Cal Rifkin. My favorite player, um, Andre Dawson. You know, that's interesting. We'll get to that. He is a recent uh, Hall of Fame. Um, he's not even inducted yet. I think he was voted in from the... Um, Maybe in the Veterans Committee, I think. Ted Simmons there on the very back. So, um, not really used to looking for his cards as a Hall of Famer. Ruben Sierra, Tony Fernandez, Marty Barrett, Chris James, Pete Smith, Pat Sheridan, Pasquale Perez, showing off the, the pitch, <laughs> Roger McDowell. Larry Herndon, Kent Herbeck, Mike Jackson, Junior Ortiz, Fred Manrique, Ron Perlman, there's a Ken Griffey Sr., and there is that Ted Simmons, so I guess this pack was saved by the, the newly inducted Hall of Famer, or not inducted yet, but soon to be inducted, uh, Ted Simmons, so... <clears throat> Again, not a very exciting pack, but you know, just in general, this this set kind of is known for for um, um, not being particularly exciting. Quite frankly, it's kind of a boring design, you know, especially when compared to um, you know some of the other eighty nines. Uh, obviously, upper deck uh, eighty nine Bowman. Although it's not great, it's quite distinctive in its size. I mean, I'm, I'm a particular... I, I do like 89 uh, Donruss, so... Uh, there's an Ozzie Smith and a Jim Rice. So there's some back-to-back -back Hall of Famers and another one. So we are making up for some lost time here. George Brett. That's a new one. Don't have G George Brett yet, so... Uh, Kent DeColve. Bob Nepper. Dave Collins. There's another Hall of Famer, Don Sutton. 
in his old age with the, the gray hair poking out. Tom Foley, Dale Moharchik. There's another Hall of Famer. So this has been a very lucrative pack. Carlton Fisk, Kevin Rome, Romine, Romine, Joel Youngblood, Mike Harkey, Craig Worthington, and Gerald Clark. And we, I don't know if we've looked too much at the backs yet, but the backs, um, I do like the backs of these cards. Um, Fisk has got a, had a long career, so there's no narrative there with him. But like with this, you know, they do list out a kind of maybe a, a biography or some type of description, notable notes about the player. So um, full color photo on the back. <coughs> I do like the backs of these scorecards. We got about three packs left here, so. That was a good pack, so maybe we'll we'll get another good one here. Uh, these the, the the box was very well kept, so these cars are actually um, in really good condition. Um, I've seen a one or two of the packs that the very back card has had a little bit of corner damage, but I don't think that has anything to do with the the box itself. That's just more what happens sometimes. There's a Daryl Strawberry Superstar. There is a Cal Ripken Jr., so we asked and we shall receive. And there's a Dell Murphy, who I think should be a Hall of Famer, in my opinion. And there's another Hall of Famer, Wade Boggs. Craig Lefferts. Jody Davis. Kevin Gross. Stan Javier. I remember this card as a kid. I had this card. I don't know why I distinctly remember, but I just... That's actually, I do like the photography on that card. That's that's pretty cool. Tom Hinky, whose numbers are, yeah, he had a, some solid years. You know, look at that. Uh, at the time, a 303 lifetime ERA, 249, 203. Um, Ted Power, Jay Bell, Steve Bouchel, Daryl Miller. Donnell Nixon, Fred Tolliver, and Jose Bautista. <coughs> Two packs to go. So I guess if you had, if, you, if you're looking to buy some Junk Wax era boxes, you're particularly looking for the 89 year, you know, if you're limited on funds, I'd probably pick another, you know, Donruss or Tops. Upper Deck's obviously fairly expensive. But there's a Hall of Famer, Barry Larkin, Denny Walling, Dustin and Travis on our on our channel have actually uh, uh, opened a box of '89 Upper Deck and uh, got uh, two Griffey Juniors, which was nice. If you haven't seen that video, I'd encourage you to watch it. One of them, one of the Griffies was, seems to be in really good shape, and, uh, but one, one of them was actually damaged. It was, it was the only card in the pack damaged, which was just really unbelievable, but um, horrible luck. But at least they got the one uh, that was in great shape. And um, so far, we are perfect with our Griffies. Uh, we were four for four. We got one in the 89 Fleer, and got one in 89 Donruss got one in 89 Bowman um, and got one in, in 89 Upper Deck. So uh, that's that's good. I think this is pack's also missing our, our little lenticular insert. So uh, this is our final pack. So let's see how we do. Steve Sachs making good contact. You can see the, the bat's actually bent a little bit there from that contact. Uh, Cecil Fielder. Jose De Leon, Andy Hawkins, Jimmy Jones, Greg Matthews, Mike Moore, Dave LaPointe, Rick Cerrone, Bud Black, Joe McGrain, Stuart Clyburn, Ricky Jordan, Bob Melvin, Carlos Quintana, and there's Edgar Martinez. So I don't think this technically qualifies as a rookie because he 
had an 88 Fleer card that um, qualifies as, as his rookie uh, for, I guess, rookie qualification purposes, but um, still Hall of Famer here with a rookie designation on the card. So that's a, that's a good card to end our video on. So, um, you know, thank you for, for watching. Again, I'm going to try to keep these videos a, a little shorter uh, moving forward. And um, until next time, thanks for watching.